Hello and welcome, Neil Alice here from Tax TV. Uh, a win, three points. <sighs> yeah, been wanting that. Um, up against Duff South side, Cheltenham Town. Some people are going to be saying, oh, you know, performance of the result or result of the performance, but at the end of the day, I see it as we've got three points on board. And I think a vastly improved side as well compared to Plymouth. I think we've had a rocket up ass, if I'm being honest. Some players, what were, hmm, I'm going to say average, if not poor at best. It was my, could tell a difference in them against Cheltenham. All being well, they've worked and addressed on a few things and for a week. Uh, I know that Duff weren't impressed. I know that I got invited to a, a business meeting for a week with um, one of the people, one of the sponsors. <clears throat> and he weren't impressed to say, like I said, to say at least about the stuff that weren't, you know, addressed into a game and put into match, match use. So as usual, we're going to be doing the bands of player ratings, a bit of analysis on each player. Again, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. But I thought um, a good three, four players were up there in contention. I think second half were a lot better. And again, we'll get through to players and we'll highlight on that. Um, so here we go. Bounds of player ratings uh, against Chatham Town, 6th of August. <clears throat> Collins. Um, I said, more or less is it there, really. Said again, did what he had to do. Um, six and a half, it, it wasn't all extraordinary, but again, it were a clean sheet. That were an important thing and all. A win at home. Duff's, you know, first game at home. Clean sheet, three points. We just move on, don't we? But like I said, he did what he had to do, Collins. It wasn't a poor game. It wasn't a great, you know, a, a great game when he had to do. But, it was, you know, it was average. He did what he had to do and move on. Jordan Williams. I'm going to give him a 7.0 on this one. He looked switched on and, you know, he looked pretty comfortable at times. He Parts where I did see him in Plymouth game, he wanted to go forward, position going forward, we're all right. But going back sometimes a bit cards our position, I think that had been addressed and worked on. <clears throat> Which, again, we move on from the Plymouth game. And for me, Jordan Williams, I thought he had a good game, to be fair. Um, Y'all might agree, disagree. But I thought he looked, you know, focused, he looked on. I think they've been practised on at back. Through, um, I, I will game worked on through back against Plymouth. Mads Anderson, um, 6.5. At times, I thought his control <clears throat> were letting him down. Captain could be a bit more vocal, but he did have a goal and it were ruled out, you know, it was disallowed. So, I'm not saying very poor, I'm not saying it was great, but. I think Carter defenders is probably one of the like average kind of defenders, you know. For, but for being captain, could be a bit more vocal, a bit more vice of presence, possibly. But again, I'm just if it's like nitpicking, it's nitpicking. But again, it were an all round team performance, and when you look at defense, six point five, it were it were a clean clean sheet. Dealt at times with Alpha May. Um, rest of attacking options that were coming forward. So, an improved performance. Connor, Connor McCarthy. I thought me, I've, I've spoke to him a couple of times, like now if you haven't seen see it on my other videos. Um, he, he just wanted to play football. I thought he had a good, solid performance. I, I thought he looked in control, looked solid. I thought it was a great home debut. I thought it was a good home debut for him. Uh, in for the Robbie Cundy. But again, for me, Connor, 7.0, a solid 7.0 for me. What he did, he did well. Basics, you know, didn't have a play, didn't have a elaborate on stuff. 
So at back, you could tell it being worked on. I think you could tell it being worked on. So for me, Connor, a solid 7.0. I thought he'd uh, a good home debut. I thought it was solid. He looked in control. He looked comfortable. Yeah, I'm impressed with him. Liam Kitchen. I think last week I'd give him a 5.5. You know, he, he looked tight for his depth. But I'm going to give Liam 7.0, a good a good 7 yet again. You know, just like Connor, I think uh, vast, vast improved performance from Plymouth game. Look comfortable and getting forward, especially in second half on that run. You know, I, I thought he went on that run, but not only did when he got the uh, and it, you know, he shot and it, it went over, he was he were tracking back, he went, he went tear arsing back in the fourth position. So again, I think he an, an improved performance. And that's why Mad's got 6.5. But for me, yeah, 7.0 for Kitchen. Great, you know, improved performance. And I think Duff is working on that area, which I identified, which were Achilles' heel last season. And also I'll go on to this one as well against the uh, Plymouth game. But yeah, looked up for it. Looked, uh, looked solid. And again, clean sheet, wasn't it? Unfortunate for Nicky Cadden. Um, hard to judge, but I'm going to give him a 5.0. It, it, it's not a reflection on our poor or old because he came off just over the half hour mark, didn't he? Luke Connell came on. Um, I want to give him 7.0. I thought, as always, I'm surprised that he'd been rested for this or, uh, for this game. Again, when he came on, he looked busy on pitch. He was wanting ball, link up play, everything will be here. Um, and people have seen Luca in pre season and the Plymouth game as well. He, he's wanting the ball, he's wanting to take people on, he's, he's wanting to do things with ball. And for me, when he came on, I think more, more so in the second half, because by the time he came on the first half, I want a lot for him to do it as in regards to making an impact. But in the second half, I think it linked up, which kind of linked up to with other players I'm going to be getting onto in a minute. So, yeah, Luca, I thought it'd have been a first starter, you know, first team title, if I'm being honest. But Duff knows, you know, what, what he's going to be playing and the amount of games that we've got coming up. You know, we've got uh, Carabao and uh, Pete's the trophy and all that. So it'll, it's one of these where he's going to have to uh, juggle about. Benson, been one of Benson's critics last, last week. Uh, as we, so, so many of us, you know, people were on the watching videos back and commenting. But I thought me, Benson, vast, vast improved performance. Again, link up well, getting involved all over the pitch. Complete different player to last last week. Um, I called him and said, you know, it should have took that uh, ball out on um, touchline for the link up. But again, Whatever's been happening through midweek with Duff and backroom staff worked on it and addressed it. I thought Benson, for me, good solid eight. Yeah, good solid eight. Probably eight and a half or eight, but yeah, good solid eight for me. I'm hoping now this is the catalyst and we can move on. And again, I'll come round, I've done midfield, I'll come round to my thoughts on the, the area. But yeah, Benson, solid eight for me. Thomas, I mean, what can we say? Um, what Anto had been said. Excellent performance. I thought it was like a new signing. Really was like a new signing. Great link-up play again. His match-winning goal. Standing ovation when he got subbed off by Will Undermark. I, rightly deserved and all. Rightly deserved. For me, I thought in the second half, the play was better. And no disrespect to Nicky Cannon going off, but I think when you got the when you've got Thomas Benson, Luca Connell in centre in, in midfield, that midfield area, it all seemed to gel more better when Stars got moved out to left wing back for the injured Cannon, if it makes sense. But yeah, I mean they all seem to work as as a team as a unit. They look they look pretty comfortable. But yeah, Thomas, I mean we all issues was going through. You know, it's been well documented about uh, not being in the right place with um, 
him since. He's gone out on loan, he's come back. But for me, in pre-season and the game, what we saw, I'm just hoping, you know, is it Barnsley and Michael Duff's the, the right man and is, you know, Martin Patterson and Martin Devaney to get the best out of him and it's a fit for, for both parties. Um, and, yeah, my man at match, by the way, I mean, 9.0, my man at match and rightly so, and I think he's everybody's man at match. Cracking goal, people say deflection, but at the end of the day, he's got to get his laces through it and put it away, and he deserved it. So, yeah. Look, Thomas. Styles, some people, you know, me included, I think what are you a surprise starter when you when you looked at injuries, possible injuries, you know, Matty Wolf and that. It looked good at times, but then at other times it looked average. So my decision making again at times looked a bit average and I don't know what's happening with Styles. I mean, he moved out to left wing back. I mean, for me, I've said it in, in centre and mid for Barnsley. I don't see, I don't see it for us. But when he's playing out of that left wing back role, he sent a bit more into his his game where I I know seeing him. But yeah, I mean, what a surprise start to people what's watching. But you know, do you think it, it should have started? I know there were a lot of people saying this, the team that started against Plymouth should be starting against. Cheltenham kind of thing. So for a, a surprise start for, for me, sure. And again, average, inconsistent. I'd it's it's one of them conundrums what, what's gonna happen in it, lad. Is he gonna be a player? Is he, is he not gonna be a player after August? It's one of them. But uh five point five for styles. Norwood. Um uh, again. What are you surprised starter? We're on about his fitness levels. Um, you know, coming into the season, what are, what are going to be up there? A lot of fans want him to start in, in place of a man, you know, uh, Devante Cole, who uh, came on substitute for him. People calling out for Norwood and Edgerton to start, and he did start. He lasted, remember, 60 odd minutes, 60 you know, sort of a 60 odd minute mark. Again, he tested defenders, he put in a bar, he, he also lumbustled, kind of know what you're going to get with Norwood. Uh, put in a bar, closed down, and he, he knows league. I think when Devante Cole come on, he tried doing the same. I think it took him a bit to get in, but I mean, you know, in that kind of situation, when you don't when you are coming in, you've got to get up to into pace at game kind of thing. But when he did get into pace at game, Devante, I thought he did pretty decent. Get hard to judge on a on a rating for him, unlike Luca when he when he had best part of the game. But yeah, for for me, Devante came on. And he did what he did what he had to do. He closed down, tried putting centre back a bit. Um, but yeah, Norwood for me six point five. Aitchison six. Again, a bit similar to what I've already seen him in pre-season at Plymouth game. Closing down, putting him cinema bar, constant movement. Sometimes a decision-making at times. Um, but again, he started his second second start on BOP when you consider he's been out on loan previous two seasons. So again, it could be confidence building, getting best out of him and all being well. If we do get another striker, which we, I think we all do need another striker at least. We could see, you know, competition and bring better out of him. Uh, just having a regular strike partner. Aidan Marsh came on for him, and we all know what we're going to get from Aidan Marsh. Hustle and bustle straight away, more or less, when he came on. Local lad. Again, it's it's hard to kind of give him a rating, but he came on, he hustled and bustled, and he did what he had to do with, 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 with the bare defence. It were a bit. To, what can I say? It was a bit weird because when when we'd gone, you know, when we'd gone one no top, Cheltenham were like trying to time waste and booting ball. I'm thinking, well, at the end of the day, you, you you're time wasting, but it's your time that you're wasting. I didn't kind of get that, um, but yeah, for me, for me. 6.0, 6 but like I said, Marsh came in and he did what he had to do. Again, just to play ratings on, on what I think 
Uh, be interested to see what you, uh, people what, um, watching this. Let me know what you know. Your man at match, have your say. Do you think it was an improved performance? What did some players surprise you that they started? Did some players uh, surprise that they did better than last uh, week? I think we all needed a reaction. I think Duff wanted a reaction definitely from players, and we got it. We got a win. We got a clean sheet. Hopefully, we can use this as a catalyst and to move on because we've waited so long for an own win. So let's build on it. Uh, let's, you know, start climbing that league. Let's start a few more wins under the belt and it'll breed confidence. And all being well, we can see a few more additions to the uh, squad to improve it because we know, as fans, what we need. A striker, an eight win back, some will say another midfielder as well. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share as always. Appreciate you all. Over 8,000 subscribers. One thing left to say. You Reds.